This is the latest Meteor 85 lightweight whoop from Beta FPV. It's very similar to their previous Beta 85, but they want it to be known as the Meteor 85, so that's what I'm going to call it. It's inspired by Justin Davis and Nat Payne's Shutterbug 85 and is extremely lightweight. And the big feature is this version that I've got here has the all-in-one flight controller with a built-in Express LRS receiver. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. This is a Whoop style quad and although it's available with a few different receivers, the version I ordered has got the 2.4 gigahertz ELRS on board. Now it's basically a 2S Whoop that's sort of a little bit bigger than normal. And in the box you get the quad, you get some spare props and you get this 300 milliamp hour LiPo and this very useful USB adapter. It's basically got a USB-C connector on here and this little JST that plugs onto the flight controller just there. And because it's 2S you can fly it indoors quite safely but there's enough oomph with this to fly outdoors as well. It's really very nice. And it only weighs 67 grams with the battery on board and that's what gives it so much performance. The flight controller is an all-in-one F4 with BL Heli S 12 amp ESCs and there's a built-in SPI Express LRS 2.4 gig receiver. And under the hood here there's a 5.8 gig VTX that's power switchable up to 350 milliwatts. It comes with this Cadex Ant FPV camera that's fixed in this moulded canopy and it really is fixed at 30 degrees, you can't alter the angle of this at all. Now the prop guards are pretty flexible which means they're probably not going to break easily, they just flex when you hit something so it's perfect for flying indoors. Now the motors on here they're very lightweight, 1103, 11,000 kV with four blade gem fan 2020 props. And Beta FPV suggests the flight time is about three minutes with this battery. Now these motors are incredibly light, they only weigh 3.3 grams each and they plug onto the board down here with connectors which is very nice. Under the cover is the flight controller with this IPX connector for the dipole T antenna that runs out the back there, it's fixed onto this TPU bracket and tucked up just behind the CADEX camera in the canopy here is the 48 channel MO3 5.8 gig VTX that's power switchable between 25, 100, 200 and 350 milliwatts. So let's check how this has all been set up in beta flight. We do get this warning because there's just a mismatch of the beta flight configurator and the version of beta flight that's installed on this meter 85. And the version they've got installed is 4.3, which is uh, they've just taken a release candidate and used that. So let's have a look what we've got. In terms of ports, we've got two UARTs which is fine and they're using soft serial for the VTX switching which is all very nice. Configuration it is props out and it's using DSHOT 600. All these seem fairly standard they've got a 4 kilohertz PID loop frequency which is pretty normal to be honest and yeah so Emma's turned off that's fine Power and battery, that's all normal. Fail safe is drop, which is just as we would like it to be. Let's have a look at the PID tuning, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, they've definitely put a lot of work in on this. These are nowhere near the defaults for beta flight. Interesting. Rates are fairly low, to be honest but it's a very lightweight quad so it's going to respond to the sticks really quickly. Filter settings, a bit difficult to tell without comparing with the defaults, but we'll see 
how this behaves when we get out and fly it. Receiver, uh, well that won't be working because I haven't got it turned on. Modes, we've got an arm switch, angle, horizon, and what else? Let's have a look here. Oh, the beeper, air mode comes on when we are not in angle or horizon, which is fine, flip over after crash. All fairly standard and very nice. And uh, let's go and see how this flies. I'm using the Beta FPV Express LRS module, but I've recently flashed this with the latest ELRS TX version, which is now at 2.2. Now this now supports the OSD and the joystick, but the UI on the display is different from the Beta FPV fork of the code, but it all works just fine. And I also flashed the latest ELRS version on the flight controller board on here. And I'll cover all that in detail in another video. Now this does fly very nicely and they've clearly done a lot of work on the tune. It's extremely agile, but three minutes flight time is just not enough. You just want more. It's a real shame we couldn't actually have more flight time. But it's a lightweight whoop, so something has to give. Just make sure you've got plenty of spare batteries when you go out with you. Now the image from the Cadex Ant is sort of okay, but it's a fairly cheap and light camera, so don't expect too much. So this is great fun to fly despite those small downsides, but one thing that really impressed me was the massive amount of information on the Beta FPV website to support this. Everything from binding, flashing, and a whole load of frequently asked questions. And there's even an explanation why this uses props out rather than props in. And it's pretty unusual to have so much information available. And in angle mode, this is very, very stable, which is perfect for beginners flying indoors. Overall, it's a really nice whoop style quad that's just great fun. And the price on this ELRS version is $110, which I think is great value. And there are some bundles available from Beta FPV that include their ELRS transmitter and some extra batteries. So check that out as well. And I'll leave links in the description to the Beta FPV website, the resources and where you can check the latest prices. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that helpful, why not buy me a coffee to support the channel? And there's a whole load of links in the description. I'll see you next time.